So, you wanted to become astrobiologist and uh, considering the fact of the success of Chandrayaan 3, uh, you are much eager to become an astrobiologist and serve India uh, in search for you know many important aspects that the space research organization deals with in day-to-day -day basics, particularly in the field of bio biology and biological sciences. Now, in this video, I'm going to tell you exactly the career path that you can take in order to become astrobiologist in India. And also, I'll give you a reality check whether it is a feasible option for you or not. You know, seeing something as a result and deciding that if I could be the part of this result is a mentality that we all share. Right now, after the success of Chandrayaan 3, uh, all uh, the biology lovers, they, they, they say that if there is anything that they can do in order to help this organization like ISRO to reach the height that they did and also to do something for their own country. But in reality, what is the scope of astrobiology in India and how can you get to that point is something that uh, remains uh, under a debate. But still, let us start discussing about the basic career path that you can take in order to become an astrobiologist then i'll give you the reality check the first thing that i want to mention is uh, how to become an astrobiologist now the very straightforward answer is that there is no bsc or msc programs directly uh, offered by an university or college in astrobiology because the space research is something uh, that requires uh, extensive infrastructure that is lacking in uh, the colleges and universities although they generally offer microbiology biotechnology these modern biological subjects but for astronomy research there are specific instrumentation and all required which is not present so you will not find any graduate program in astrobiology that's a sad thing no graduate program and in fact uh, there are no such msc program so no bsc no msc so how can someone choose the career path now obviously in this case anyone from the background of life sciences uh, as a well, like graduate in life sciences or graduate in microbiology, graduate in botany, graduate in zoology, graduate in biotechnology. So anyone from these all different disciplines of biological sciences generally do their graduation in this disciplines. Then they do the masters in this uh, other disciplines. Now when they can choose astrobiology as their career path is the time frame either doing integrated PhD in from specific institutes in India, which I'm going to share the list. And the second thing is after doing MSc, you can go with the PhD program and that PhD program, you can join a research organization who is working uh, hand on hand with the astronomy part, hand on hand with the space research part and uh, the input as a biologist is needed to fuel their research. So there is no front door entry as astrobiology in India right now. There is always a back door entry and the entry is after doing your graduation masters in other disciplines of life sciences, you can get into the astrobiology field as a PhD candidate, as a junior research fellow or as another any other kind of you know <clears throat> research associate, research assistant position holder in a research organization then you can start your career. So to start your career in astrobiology, you need to wait for the three years graduation, two years masters, then in the PhD five, seven, five to six, seven, eight years even, then you can be uh, called as an astrobiologist in that field. There are institutes in India offering integrated PhD and also PhD program related to astronomy, related to space research. But again, uh, not all the lab heads are offering that so the competition will be huge because the number of students interested in this field after this will be huge and the vacancies will be very very low because the number of phd holders uh, attended by individual principal investigators are quite a few so here is a list of institutes uh, that you can try as a phd you know as a grf after qualifying cs and net or any other uh, fellowship program you can apply in here First of all, uh, Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore, IISC, integrated PhD in biological science with astrobiology in focus. There are labs out there. Indian Institute of Technology, Bombay, IIT Bombay, dual degree, B.Tech, M.Tech and engineering physics focus on space science. If this is from the physics background, remember not from biology background. Indian Institute of Astrophysics, IIA Bangalore. This institute is dedicatedly out there for physics. So if someone from the physics background can apply there and uh, from that career path, they can move into astrobiology related topics. 
Then fourth was the Indian Institute of Science, Education and Research, IISER, ISAS. Located in various uh, cities in India, but you need to search extensively which lab offering uh, the research on biological sciences that is related to space sciences. The next one is Tata Institute of Fundamental Research, TIFR Mumbai, offers research opportunities and postgraduate programs in various fields related to physics and astronomy. And last one is University of Mumbai, MSc program in astrophysics, which uh, much covers some aspect of astrobiology as well. So you can see that this maximum institute out there that we are listed, they kind of want the physics graduates to go in there and start their work because you know uh, to be honest you know i served the field of biology for like i'm serving it more than a decade and with this still in mind biology is an underrated subject no matter how much you do what you do it is an underrated subject people don't know about darwin but they know about Einstein, they know about Stephen Hawking, they don't know about Darwin. This is a, a very simple idea and people don't cherish the biological research even after pandemic and pandemic, even in future we have pandemic after pandemic, still people will not understand the importance of biological research. People are reached moon earlier than they reached our small intestine. That is a reality and the sad reality remains the same throughout the world. Even in India it is more. So. Even uh, as per this subject, the idea says that if you are from a, uh, for a student from physics or applied physics, you go to uh, this institute to do your PhD, then you will be given a degree of astrobiology because their thought is that we can teach you biology. Teaching biology would be easier than teaching physics and mathematics. And that is kind of a true. I agree on this fact because teaching biology would be easier. The topics, the things that they need to prepare in order to be trained in astrobiology would be far easier than uh, to provide a training to a person who is from biological field uh, on, on, uh, on the space sciences and physics related to the space science and mathematics because to be honest these people they fear mathematics a lot our, our people in this field they fear mathematics a lot they don't have a good command in, in calculations in physics at all that's why but I've seen my students who are from physics background they grasp the biology concepts for CSI and it quite easier and even qualified in the first and second attempts that's why I said that uh, those who are good at physics and mathematics can be well taught with biology. So this is an idea. That's why most of these institutes, they are offering the astrobiology course to a physics degree holders. They prefer a physics degree holder rather than a hardcore biology degree holder. So that is one thing. So if you are uh, in your plus two and you're watching this video right now, then this is the right time to make a decision that whether you're going with the physics, uh, the pure sciences uh, thing. So. PCM and from this PCM background you can continue your study you know physics honors or you know either it's theoretical physics or applied physics doesn't matter graduation and master's physics and then you can do either integrated PhD in astrophysics and astrobiology or a PhD in astrophysics or astrobiology and this way you can channel your uh, your movements and also uh, the engineers uh, the aerospace engineer and other uh, parts of uh, mechanical engineers are also needed all the different disciplines of engineers are also needed in ISRO and other organizations uh, like Saravai space station so they, they require this engineer so engineer from that field will also get this benefit but again this is the reality check to all of you is that first of all you're aiming towards astrobiology but the preference given to the person coming from the physics background, not from the biology background first. Second is that even though uh, you can prepare your physics and math to a certain extent so that you can apply to that position, there will be a huge competition for the position that are out there. Okay, so when you see something as a result, that is the success. Now people see the success, people get attracted to it. Let's say like I could have done that, but the, the effort that you need to put in the background of that success is enormous and that effort uh, requires your physics and mathematical understanding which probably you're not having i'm not demotivating but i always want to make sure that you have a practical and practical check a practical thought point uh, of deciding your career path and this is the situation right now now after you have uh, done your uh, phd then you can go in the postdoctoral studies as well as you can apply this organization as a position of either the R&D worker or you know different positions are out there here as a research assistant, research associate, principal scientist and different positions will be involved where you can apply. And so that's it. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future. Thank you. Bye.